For real, man, I, I got denials at every turn. You know, glory to God, I came wow. back nine years and two months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for I started with 30, you know, and ended up with a 21 and 10. How hard was it uh, doing that? You had to be at the law library? I, that was my first stop. Yeah. When I got in, that's not overrated. You have to learn what you, you have to learn your case more than your lawyer. Mm -hmm. You got to know it forward and backward. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, like I said in the song, I said I left my son in the ring with no referee. Wow. Mm -hmm. I can hear him saying, Daddy, they're getting the best of me. Wow. You know, I told him, hey, be strong, push your shoulders back, fight, show him your pedigree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's only so much. So I would make songs for him to listen to because I knew he was in music. That's oh, real. That's wow. just catch 15 you. minutes on the phone. Yeah. You know, until wow. cell phones came through. <laughs> already, already. <laughs> do that. <laughs> Man, what is, did we see I somebody on that. cell phone last night? What you oh, show me? Oh, my goodness. Something on Instagram. <laughs> this dude went live from prison, right? He going then, no, hold no. up, hold up. So he, he blocked, no, he blocked, he blocked the, the, the Chicago, it happened in Chicago PD. So he blocked them so called from seeing it. They commented <laughs> under his live, you blocked her main page, but you really think we can't see all of this? <laughs> Hey, she they know me that live that. in prison all the time. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> you going live when you see me drinking on the weekend. I'm out here, baby. It can't hey, man. So, yeah, go live, you know. Um, I wouldn't ever go live. No, nah, that's time. crazy. But that's only because I knew it would it'd probably go right. bad. It, yeah, it can't. I want it to. <laughs> you wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. Because especially when you see other people doing it and don't get caught. You're like, yeah. okay, I can do it's it. It's a too. setup. No, I knew I could. I knew that's just how he did. different. But I got <laughs> I a knew, question I about I prison. So um, while you were in prison, because I've heard so many different people's story that every time when they went to prison, whether they lost their mama, brother, uncle, you know, somebody. Mm -hmm. Did you lose anybody while you were in prison that, that was, was close to you? I lost my mother in prison. Man. In prison. I'm um, 16. I lost my grandmother. I lost my uh, first cousin, like my brother Jerome. Um, and then each time I was in the shoe. Wow. Mm. Every time. So you that that take an effect. Yeah, that that's what made time hard, you know? Right. Yeah. Because I've seen, you know, because he he'll tell me they don't really do that. People, don't, they don't, the prisons don't do that. Because when you watch movies, because that's where I get a lot of my ideas and thoughts from, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you'll see where you can ask permission to go to your mother's funeral or whoever, and they'll take you to the funeral. But he was like, nah, a lot of these a prisons don't be doing that. So were you, happen. oh, you have seen it happen. Um, Slim no security prisons or camps. Mm -hmm. But me, no. No. They like not and you pay for it. You pay for the extra manpower. Where, so I offered to pay double and everything. And it still wouldn't let you no, go. Hell no. no. So they didn't want to let me go on my release day. <laughs> That's the you way it be. For real. Man, I, I got denials at every turn. You know, glory to God, I came wow. back nine years and two months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for I started with thirty, you know, and ended up with a twenty one and ten. How hard was it uh doing that? You had to be at the law library? I that was my first stop. Yeah. When I got in that's not overrated. You have to learn what you you have to learn your case more than your lawyer. Mm -hmm. You got to know it forward and backward. You got to know you got to understand the language because just one one word can change the language, language. change the whole meaning. You know, if something pertains to you, or if something doesn't pertain to you, and I did that. You know, to learned about writs and everything. Yeah. You Right, you doing but wouldn't that thing. make you upset? Especially it depends on how your lawyer is, because sometimes people can get these crooked lawyers who who just want to go up in status, so they just feed you to the wolves. I've heard so many stories like that. So when you actually study and learn that, oh, my lawyer could have said this, or he could have done this and this and this, and he didn't. Wouldn't you. that make you just like? You. Hey, because in 2012, I was supposed to give back 15 years because I never knew I could. Get, a lot of people. This is a, glad you asked. Your game. Question. A lot of people wanted to know, damn, black, why you didn't just take the 10 they were offering? Because they were offering me 10, mm -hmm. then they were offering me 7 to rat. okay? So why didn't you just take the 10 and be done with it? Because the lawyers told me that the most, I said, well, what's the most I can get? He said 12 to 15. I'm like, shit, crank it up. Let's go to trial. Yeah. So I went to trial. And then when they came back with 30, that was the underlay for the overplay, right? Wow. They had, now it's something called a relevant conduct. They hit me with all, all the relevant conduct and boosted it up. Even what is irrelevant conduct? Like they're saying, like, <clears throat> say for instance, uh, they charge say they charged me with six ounces of crack, mm -hmm. but I got six ounces of crack for two years. They're gonna charge you for that whole two years. 
That's mm. really kind of the, uh, yeah, you know, it's just some shit they make up just to give you time. <laughs> yeah. Just to be honest, you know what I mean? So they hit me with the relevant conduct that boosted up to 30, and the lawyers didn't know it. They didn't see it coming. Mm. So in 2012, I had an honest lawyer named Doug Green out this way, and then I had another one named Mike High School. Doug, and I was like, hey, man, this, this new thing came down to where, you know, if you guys just admit that you didn't see that coming, then they, they'll, they'll let me back in. I forget what it was called. So Doug was like, hey, man, I'll do it. You know, I'm sure it's going to be a blemish on their record or whatever because it was oversight on their part. Like, hey, I'll do it. My mom and my son went to Mike High School. Was like, hey, man, I'll do it. And, uh, and uh, when it came time, so I'm in court, man. So now they're reading the, the statements from the lawyer, you know, um, crocodile tears in my eyes. Now I'm like, I'm going to get out of here. You know, even the, the, the what do you call it, stenographer, mm-hmm, like you said. Mm-hmm. Person type, and she was yeah. looking. She was like, "Oh man!" So they they had it wrong. They told me you can give a twelve to fifteen because this is what they they're admitting. Right. Then Mike High School gets on the phone and said, "Nah, he uh, we knew it was thirty. Mm. He, he lied. Lied. So he lied. Come to, keep it, to keep his. To, I can't say why. Yeah. To keep his it, record. It, let me let me rephrase that. I'm not gonna say he lied. He was just inaccurate. Yeah. And, and saying I don't want to call the man a lie yeah. because maybe it was a huge oversight, but. The other lawyer knew. Yeah, know. because it was two of them. It was two. Right. Two lawyers. Yeah, so both <clears> of them. Um, once, once they had, in, once they, hey, we, we had no way. Even the, so, to, to put it in perspective, even the district attorney said, we didn't know about the relevant conduct. We didn't see that coming either. Mm. So, but Mike High School did. So uh, what? And yeah. when you look at it from that perspective, like, like, you, you was in there fighting. For your life, yeah. So when you look at that, you weren't the only one fighting for your life. It was other guys. What were some of the even worse case scenarios than you? You know, because you've seen them. Yeah, man, a bunch. And I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. It, that's right. where that's what made me start rapping in prison. I, I, didn't, I never want. I, I used to look at that like I'm not going to be rapping in here. I'm fighting for my life. I'll be rapping while they hanging me. But I seen guys that that had heard about me. And then they throw concerts and stuff in there. You know what I mean? I was in Beaumont at the time and other places too, you know. And so those guys that worship, they had life. They had 60 plus 6, 120, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and they weren't ever going to get a date. You know, it's a whole different body. Like I like to say, it hit different when, when, when you got a, a release date that say deceased. Mm. And so that's what they, they were saying. So I'm like, you know, let me entertain these guys. Give them something real. You know, something they, they can respect. Because if mm. I was a sucker or something up there rapping, they ain't even coming to see it. Yeah. Because yeah. Because they know it's foolishness. Because they're going to be there for the rest of their lives. Let's yeah. give them something to. So. Mm, for good man, too. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.